Hello, today I'm looking at International A-Level M2 Mechanics, June 2018. This is question one. So we have a particle P of mass 0.7 kilos is moving with this velocity when it receives an impulse, so in other words, a hit. Immediately after receiving the impulse, the particle is moving with this velocity and they are asking me to find the impulse for three marks. So I'll label this part of the question. So the formula that I'm going to need to use is impulse is mass multiplied by the difference between the final velocity and the initial velocity. So the mass was 0 0.7, which is 7 tenths. The final velocity was this one. So I'll write that as a vector, a column vector. And the initial velocity was this. And so now I end up with 7 tenths of uh, 3 minus 1, which is 2, and 4 subtract negative 2, so in other words 4 plus 2, which is 6. Um, now here they're asking for the impulse rather than the magnitude of the impulse, so I can leave my answer like this or I can multiply this in, but a vector is okay. So basically I'll do 0 0.7 times 2 and 0 0.7 times 6. Okay, and the impulse is measured in Newton seconds. Then I'm asked to find in degrees the size of the angle between the direction of the impulse, which will be this, and the direction of motion immediately before receiving the impulse. Now the direction it was going in before receiving the impulse was this, so I'm just going to draw a diagram of this vector and this vector starting from the same point so that then I can see a bit more easily what direction the, uh, the where the angle is that they're talking about. Okay so if I just uh, draw a dot somewhere on my page and I'll draw an, a vector in this direction so this is going in the i direction 1 and in the j direction 2 so I'll just do a little sketch here uh, so I know that this is 2 and this is 1. Notice I'm doing positive numbers here because I'm, these are the lengths. And the direction of the impulse is this. So it's in the positive direction something and then in the positive j direction another amount. And I can see that I'm just drawing the lengths on this side so as to not get in my own way as it were. Uh, so this length here is 4.2, the j direction, and this length here is uh, 1.4 in the i direction. And so I'm asked for the angle here. So uh, if I imagine a z here, this part of the angle will be the same as this angle here, and this part of the angle, using again another z, will be this angle here. Okay, so to work out theta, then I will do inverse tan of the opposite over the adjacent. And to get this angle here, I'll do inverse tan of, again, the opposite over adjacent. So the opposite this time is 2 over 1. And so the angle that is required is those angles added up. So I'll just make sure my calculator oops, is in degrees. So I need degrees here and make sure that I have a D here. And then I'll just add, uh, do these together. So I'm doing inverse tan of 4.2 over 1 point, whoops, 1 point, whoops, 1.4. And as well as that, I need inverse tan of 2 over 1, which is 2. And I'm getting this lovely round number, 135 degrees. Uh, that part of the question is worth three marks then. So I hope you found that solution helpful. Good luck with your revision.